Uh, well, let's let's get started here. I have some uh, stick soft charcoal here, which I usually do at the beginning stages. What I'm really wanting to do here now, I always work on a on a white canvas. I don't know why. I just I like it. I like to see the whole painting develop in front of my eyes from the very beginning. Uh, what I'm really trying to do right at this moment is to just get a feel for the size of it. So I'm going to figure, okay, this is how high, this is this is where I want the top of the thing to be. Now, this procedure that I use is, is uh, I don't know if it, if it's like other procedures or other painters, but it's the way I do it. And, uh, See, I, I haven't even I haven't even determined the the, uh, the horizontal line yet because I, I have to feel for the size of it first, get a good, good feel for it. And uh, but I'm, right now I, I sort of I'm marking out the top. I'm marking out this is sort of the headpiece here. Uh, right here, so more or less, I have no idea if it's actually accurate. I'm just trying to, it's just all feel here. Uh, chin down here would be. Uh, my collar, my collar, and the shoulders are going to be out here somewhere. Don't know. But at this particular point, uh, I'm saying that my eyes are going to be right around in there. Nose is going to be right around in there. And this is just general, uh, general uh, feel. Okay. So as you can see, I'm not doing myself at an angle here. I'm doing myself straight on. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll, uh, I'll. I'll Put more of an angle on it, but uh, today we're going to just going to go straight on. Obviously, the uh, the key to painting anything as a realist painter is just paying attention. You know, paying close attention. And what I what I've found over the years is my ability to to focus uh, on what I'm doing. Um, becomes more exaggerated throughout the process. In the beginning, like right now, all I'm looking for are just the very basic generalities. You know, shape, uh, some sort of idea of shadow and highlight. One thing I've noticed about my own paintings, my own painting process, is that I'm not much of a line, line guy, contour guy. I see in mass, I see in color, and I sort of relate my drawing uh, skills to that. So when I, right in the beginning here, I'm looking for where are the basic lights and darks, and how do they correspond to the shape that I'm looking at in front of me. So uh, I'm trying to define those things right now. Okay. Of course, as the drawing pro progresses here, I uh, oh, sorry. If I stop talking, that means my mind is just thinking about something else here. One thing I like about this charcoal is it's very fast. It gives me an immediate feel, and it comes off very quickly. And uh, and I can get an immediate feel for size and shape without getting real fussy. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to work on this drawing a little bit right now. Uh, trying to get my my feet dug into it, and uh, you can watch here and see what I see what it is that I'm concentrating on initially. Now I'm I'm always going back and I'm referring to these lines right at this stage to make sure that uh, that I'm getting things in 
in a, in a place that I, that I want them. Now I'm going to choose that horizontal line. Now that's just in there for a second, it's not going to stay. But uh, it gives me, a, gives me an idea. One of the things that I'm going through my mind now is the rest of the, the rest of the painting. Do I want to, uh, how complicated do I want this piece to be or do I want it to be very simple? What I'm basically thinking about is, do I want a solid background? I think, yeah, I'm just going to go with a simple, solid background. So that we can really concentrate on the, uh, on the portrait aspect of this thing, as opposed to all the other stuff. Although, once you... Once your drawing skills are, are sort of defined, Refined, uh, what you decide to include in a painting is really doesn't matter because you can paint whatever you want, choose whatever you want, whatever is of interest to you. Okay. Now, once I, I'm not going to go much farther with the with the charcoal drawing here at this stage. I'm going to go right into paint. That's what I usually do. But at this point, I want to make sure that the size fits what I'm doing, fits the canvas, and uh, and fits my particular feeling at the moment. You know, a lot of times you can tell right from the beginning if a if a drawing is going well or if it just doesn't look right. You can tell right from the very beginning. Uh, so far, so good. I think the size of these things are going to change and alter. I sort of like to make sure that I have the fundamental sizes of things um, basically right before I move into color so I don't have to do too much changing. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm looking in the mirror. like we've talked about before, and uh, just to checking it, making sure it just doesn't look altogether stupid in the mirror. It doesn't look altogether wrong. Uh, the mirror will point it out. Um, so far, so good. My hair uh, changes every day, you know, so I, uh, so I have to make sure that, that I just get a basic idea of how I want my hair to be, and, uh, and then when it comes time to actually paint my hair, then we'll, we'll, uh, keep it, try and keep it in one position. I may even have to take a photograph of it or something to make sure that I can get it, get it, uh, in the same position, depending on how complicated I want to get with it. Okay, let's see how we are right here. We're going to look. All right, it doesn't feel too bad. Huh, okay.